I guess I'm also a huge proponent of, like, pick your poison. So, like, giving players kind of the option on how their character is set back in interesting ways. Okay, so sand is flower and stone. So we can make a fair bit. Landfill is sand and poop. So we actually need a lot more poop. Uh, let's see. What else is there? I'm trying to play D&D, but you live in a small farming community. No one ever wants to know about it or play it. Uh, online stuff, honestly. That's that's really my, my perpetual answer is, like, play online. It'll make everything a lot easier. Oh, hey, Crystal. Ugh, I need Lavender and Cinderbloom if I want to make Steel. That's a little bit out of my... But we can make some Crystal early, which actually helps a lot. Because that means I can head for Shrines. If you can't tell, I'm really itching to play D&D again someday. I mean, I don't know. Technically, I can start whenever. It's just a matter of like, I don't know, I want to grab more people. Let's see. And also, like, I don't know. I was like, yeah, I'm finally I'm finally in a position where I can start, like, maybe figuring some of this out. Then I get, like, really sick for a whole week, and I'm like, never mind. And then this week, it's like, hey, by the way, like, ten games that you're really excited for are coming out. And I'm like, no, I have so many of those from the last week that I haven't finished. Okay. So, at this point, we need to bust out a hell of a lot of gold. I have no gold ingots. There we go. Now I got gold ingots rolling in. Let's see. I think the other problem is a lot of people that I know that I might possibly ask are having, like, life things. I really want to play with uh, a vac again. And he's probably not actually that busy, but he's, like trying to buy a house uh and after having gone through that myself i kind of know that's an incredibly busy thing that you have to like go through a lot to do and so it's one of those where it's like uh hey you want to play DD with me oh right you gotta move and like a bunch of other things i think it was also at twitchcon this week and like a bunch of other stuff and it's like that's oh do we get cooked meat that's okay let's go prospecting Rocks have a 10% higher chance of dropping gems, and there's geology. Okay, there we go. And once once we get geology, then everything is just, like, cookies. I should probably also work on getting that bigger backpack and some other things. But no, I haven't actually asked anybody about it. I just... I want to even just be able to play video games with people at this uh, at this stage of life. Everything else is still kind of secondary. We Okay. Because, yeah, I know we're going to be doing stuff with Moose and Joe tomorrow. Question is what? Uh, probably more Deep Rock Galactic, and I'm hoping for maybe Borderlands, but I know Moose isn't a huge fan of Borderlands, so it's like, well, maybe we'll just play that with Joe. Or Joe and Shell, or just Shell, or... I don't know. I'd prefer to do Borderlands with a full four-man squad. Or, well, four-person squad. To be inclusive here. Oops. Killed a chicken. Oh, well. Okay. Let's see. I don't need any more vaults. I'd make some more bridges. How are we doing on money? I need 800 to get this one. I could keep buying these cheaper ones because I've got decent coverage of the uh, the mining rods. But I think I think I'm gonna want to go for I think I'm gonna want to go for that that lavender and then start heading south to get the fire bloom. Even if it's a bit expensive, if I can start fabricating steel without gold or 
Iron, that'll make my life easier. And sweet, you're back on this. You only had 40-ish episodes. Yeah, well, it's on 1.0. So, good time for me to come back. This is going to be one of those games that I come back to, like, repeatedly. Because I can more or less play through an entire run of it in five, maybe six hours, tops. Which, like, is a really satisfying length for me. You know, with stuff like RimWorld, I can play, like, one run for, like, 30 hours and not be anywhere close to done. And that's, like, kind of tough for me. But this game, perfect length. Always. I realize, like, a lot of people really like games that they can sink hundreds of hours into. But for me, five, six hours is perfect. It, it, this is, like, kind of the, uh, the, the survival sandbox equivalent of a roguelike. Which is, like... Very concentrated mechanics, very process-centric, but not so much content that you're there forever. And, like, I know for some people, like, they might see that as a bad thing, but for me, it's just like, yeah, I can load this game up, uh, up whatever I want and then just kind of stop. Uh, another easy example of actually that kind of mechanic is very recently uh, was playing Islanders. Fun game. Mechanics, a little bit on the simple side, but, like, Playing it was not disappointing. You know, I was I was happy with my experience, and I don't immediately feel the need to go back to it for a little while. And maybe I will. Maybe I won't. I don't know. And, like, there's no feeling of, like, I need to finish this game. I, I can just be done. No, 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 no. For me, that's, like, super, super worthwhile. I... Did I kill that? I don't think I did. But yeah, so this game will be eternally one of those that I just kind of look forward to, like, coming back to here and there. Kind of the same thing with Warframe, but Warframe actually, like, takes a commitment. Yeah, Risk of Rain 2, where you make a three-hour run, and after sudden death, you're like, I want to play more. So, yeah, well, Risk of Rain's definitely one of those games where, like, after a three-hour run, you can either be like, I want to do that again, or you're like, eh, I can put that off for, like, another week. The intro is kind of slow. Fixing it, though, uh, like, with some mods, I, I have managed to drastically improve the, uh, the smoothness of... The first, like, ten minutes of, of Risk of Rain, so it's not just this, like, slow experience. Now it's almost like sudden death. <laughs> Which, yeah, that might actually be a bit of a detractor in some ways. Now it's a question of, can I even clear the first level? As opposed to, like, this is kind of boring, let's just kind of go. So you wonder how do you find collaboration partners for games? You know, that's actually kind of... I'm not a great person to ask that to some degree. Uh, so, I am... I spent the last four years playing with the same people. Five years. I'm actually on my sixth year on YouTube, YouTube at this point. Five years on Twitch. But I've been playing with the same people for years. And... I'm not anymore. Uh, I've I've moved on to new people, I guess. Uh, ish. No, oh, it doesn't get more expensive. But so the problem is, uh, being with that specific group, it was relatively tight knit. So there wasn't actually like a whole lot of uh, inspiration to uh, to like branch out as much as I should have. And so I didn't, and I should have been because, yeah. That would have actually been kind of valuable. Okay, I need to get some steel here. But yeah, so with great difficulty is the real answer. Because the problem is, like, not only do you have to find uh, people that are available, uh, but also people that are experienced. I don't just play with low-level YouTubers anymore, generally. Uh, just because there's a hardware an experience and like a commentary skill kind of requirement and like some people are golden right out the gate but I find like a lot of people uh, that I, I interacted with back in the day uh, when I was first starting out a lot of them you know just 
weren't ready uh, ish i don't know like i'm not trying to be uh, offend anybody with this and it's always hard because somebody always does actually get kind of sad let's grab that one. Oh, hey sweet this is exactly the thing i wanted to see let's look cool okay backpack medium small basic fancy grab fancy body fish basic fish Bunny ears, coonskin, fedora, Cthulhu, slime hat, chimney hat, do nerdy glasses, and we don't have any wings yet. That's it. Yeah, you have to be entertaining. Yep, and that's not easy sometimes. The natural resources are being exploited by little jerks with pickaxes. I need you to bring me tor two torch bugs so I can keep them safe from harm. All right, well, we might as, actually, might as well actually work on that a little. Like a bunch of glass? Yeah. I swear there's an easier way to get... Oh, hey. Actually, how do I get the slimy amulet? I probably should have been looking at that. Like a while ago. Because that'll help. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I'm trying to think of... how I find people. I mean, honestly, I really haven't. I got kind of lucky with the whole... Oh, Skull Maze. Uh, yeah, actually, I can do this for a bit. There should be some boner men somewhere around here and a couple of treasure chests that I can grab. It's worth it. This man looks like he's from Nuclear Throne. He absolutely is. This is... This is... Uh, there are a number of references. I know there's a Hollow Knight. There's a couple other ones. I'm not going to be able to beat the uh, the boner boss in here. I think it's a boss in this one. The big skeletons will wreck me. I'll grab what I can. The hardest thing for me is to keep talking while streaming while grinding. Uh, depends on what you're playing. If you just have trouble talking in general, uh, find something to talk to. Stuffed animals help a lot. As goofy as that is. Uh, if you're having trouble coming up with things to talk about, no topic is too boring. I'm not kidding. Like, I will talk about the goddamn weather if I have to. I will just talk. It doesn't matter. People, people will eat it up as long as you kind of keep going. Honestly, commentary is like, as weird as it sounds, it's a completely learned skill. And, like, you'd think, like, but there are absolutely, like, natural talents when it comes to, uh, there, there are natural talents when it comes to, like, commentary and stuff, but, uh, in a lot of cases, almost everybody has to learn how to be entertaining. Like, I would argue that, uh, Aaron and Dan from the Game Grumps, pretty close to natural talent you, you can get maybe maybe markiplier but even then like markiplier had to learn most of most of his crafts ish i don't know apparently markiplier learned from northern lion which is kind of a cool uh cool little thing S small world i guess ish uh but he credited northern lion with like a fair amount of learning the business back in the day which is kind of cool let's leave we got enough bones I, there's a couple of big skeletons in here, and they're going to destroy me if I try and fight them. Yeah, so how is the weather? Uh, I think it's been rainy today, but it's like, the thing I like about weather around here is it rains, but it's never particularly hard, so I can just be walking around in a t-shirt, and I'm like, at max, gonna get mildly damp. I'm sure it does get torrential at times, but like, so far, it's like, oh, it's raining out, which means it's just kind of pleasant. I know, it's just always pleasant around here. Let's see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, did we get uh, more steel? No, we probably didn't get any steel. Oh, we did. I'm just going to plonk that right there. Maximum coverage. Oh, right. These are where you get the uh, Skelebros from. And that should give me enough boners that I can go after, uh... 
so I can get the next level of pickaxe, because I've been putting that off for too long. As long as we don't have to deal with any of the big boners, that's a problem. Let's see. Iron ingots, which we are crafting in mass. Good. Yeah, don't talk to politics for commentary. You can kind of get away with it, but you have to... So, if you do want to talk about politics or any divisive topic, you have to realize that somebody is going to not be cool with that. Uh, I tend to stay away from political stuff unless it's something that, like, really bothers me. Like, I will straight up just, you know, talk about... Oh, what's an easy example? Climate change. Climate change and, like, gay rights and whatnot. Like, I'm super... Well, I'm not super for climate change, but, you know, that's a that's a huge thing for me that, like, bothers me quite a lot. Same thing with, uh, you know, gay rights. Like, you know, I, I'm i I'm a huge proponent for, for gay rights, and anybody that tells me otherwise is somebody that I will never talk to again. And so, like, will that offend people? Yeah, and it will probably actually hurt my audience a little bit, but you kind of also have to realize, like, some topics are safe if only because the people that you know, will dislike what you're talking about, or probably not the people that you want around to begin with. Ish. And so, I don't know. That's... That's kind of where I'm at. Like, maybe when you're starting out, you don't want to immediately start going like, rah, 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 like, that. Uh, and really, like, oh. I might actually go, uh, quarries here. This might actually be one of the few times where quarries are going to be helpful, because we're still pretty early on. Talk Article 13. I will admit, I actually know very little about Article 13. As an American, my knowledge on that is super limited, and, like, I'm a little bit more focused on things going on at home. Which is crappy, I realize, and, like, I should probably know more about it. Because it does actually directly affect me. It's just also... I'm... Very busy. The problem is I'm, uh, it, admittedly, okay, so I, I'd need to do a lot more research, and I, I'm not in a good position to do so to really talk about this. On one hand, like, it is scary that, like, governments might start cracking down on, like, copyright stuff, and, like, yeah, that's really gonna hurt the European streaming market. Uh. Oh, what? Yeah, I know, Shell. You don't need to... But on the convert, uh, conversely, I'm I'm kind of in the position of somebody that's been kind of victimized by copyright theft, uh, pretty heavily. Shell was tugging at my shirt to remind me that, uh, yeah, Shell spent pretty much the entirety of the last summer trying to get uh, a bunch of websites to take down my copyrighted material uh, because. Because, yeah, they'd stolen it and were just, like, re-hosting it and selling it and stuff like that. So Article 13 is, like, on one hand, scary. On the other hand, I think we do need some level of copywriting protection and, and, like, cracking down. Because, like, the fact that somebody could do that to me and my only recourse is to publicly shame a company into not, uh, you know, not just selling my stuff illegally. Like, ugh. I'm still pretty mad about that. That was that was not cool. And so like, I don't know if Article 13 is the way to do it. I'm pretty sure it's actually going to blow over pretty well cuz Twitch and YouTube have a very vested interest in making sure that Article 13 doesn't tank their you know, international viewership. But it's probably going to suck kind of here and there. Let's see. So we want to put up... Oh, what? Oh, right, I've got a bunch of gems from from that temple. Let's see, do you like cats or dogs or none? I am ambivalent. Recently, I've been interacting with a string of really bad dogs, so I'm not terribly keen on them right now. But I've also had plenty of really bad cats. My grandmother had a cat that absolutely hated everyone, including my grandmother. And it was just scratch whomever and grandmother never cared to do anything about it so I've never I've always been leery of cats because I know they can be absolute like aw absolutely awful or they can be absolute saints and like lovely to be around and yeah 
But it's such a it's such a grab bag on both to some degree. So I don't I don't really have much of a position. I want a Degu or guinea pigs or something. Those 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 are are the kind of things I'm I'm really interested in as pets. Then again, uh well, I don't know. We had a pretty nasty guinea pig when I was a kid. I'm gonna leave him there. Uh, let's see. My neighbors across the street effectively decided to not even, not just retire, but like more or less permanently road trip across the country and just sold their house and got rid of everything, loaded up a loaded up an RV and then just decided to travel the U.S. So they gave us their guinea pig, but they'd never trained the guinea pig. So yeah, it would just bite. It would bite everything. It didn't care, and it was this cute sucker. Like guinea pigs are adorable, but. Yeah, a bitey guinea pig is not a great pet. Yeah, Shell had lovely guinea pigs. Okay. Uh, I should probably... Oh, we need the hot pepper. Uh, can I make a royal clothing? I actually can. I should also be able to make quite a lot of... Uh, steel and stuff at this point. Because, yeah, we've got silly amounts of coal. Because every, everything that gets mined out has just coal with it. Helps a lot. But now, honestly, I'm not much of a pet guy right now. I, I always wanted a dog. Specifically, I think as a kid, I wanted an Australian Shepherd. Uh, now that I'm older, I don't want anything to do with an animal. Uh, just because I can barely take care of myself to some degree. Uh, not really. I've, I'm actually losing weight, and like for the most part, my my life has been actually improving drastically over the last year, even if it has been kind of suck. Uh, Torchbug South, thank you for reminding me. I keep forgetting because nighttime is such like a non. It barely changes apart from getting slightly dimmer. Anyway, I was going to forget. Anyway, thank you for the critters. You may keep these magic scrolls as a reward. Now, I'm afraid the natural resource exploitation is still going rampant. Could you bring me some tree saplings so I can make sure the forest is safe? That's a lot. That'll take a while. But yeah, so I don't know. Once I'm less interesting, I might look into pet ownership. But honestly, I'd rather write a book than have to, have to deal with the animal. At least for a while. Uh, let's see. I think once these furnaces are done, I'm actually going to tear this up, and we're going to just... I might I might tear it up and just... Oh, wait, no, no, no. We'd actually probably want to do it over here. Maybe not here, though. The dungeon's kind of annoying. Let's see, what quest does the fairy give? She wants a thousand gold. Sweet child. Let me... My fairies rest your weary body. I need to ask you for a very small donation. I'll reward you with the power of my fairies. May light shine on your quest. Yeah, so thousand gold. I her Shell is cooking something and it smells good. Actually I have no idea what she's cooking. I don't really have a whole lot of immediate food here. Uh, let's see. Fiery pickaxe. We're gonna get the hot pepper, which is actually over to the right. Oh, but I can get the slimy amulet. I'm paying attention. Well, let's see. So you played Diablo 3. Have you played any of the Torchlight games? I played Torchlight 1, actually, a couple weeks ago. Uh, late February, early March. Um, and then once... Once I bug a vac, we're probably going to do Torchlight 2 together. Because he, he had expressed interest in actually co-oping that. Because the only way we're ever going to finish Tor Torchlight 2 together is if we actually like do it as a collab thing. Because otherwise we just like stop. Like Torchlight 1 was easy because I could just finish that in like a couple of sittings.
Okay, bone amulet is just more steel. All right, well, that's easy. I should probably get some more furnaces. Industrial furnace? Do I just st stick him here? Balls. That double HP on these is kind of rough. Actually, do we want to spread this out a little bit? Instead of having them all clustered together, I'm, I'm going to spread them apart. The extra EXP is kind of nice anyway. Okay, so we want to get more steel. God, steel is expensive. But once we have the flower press, it won't be so bad. Also look forward to getting a couple of drones here so they can just auto-collect uh, fish for me. That's when things get real lazy. Uh, let's see. Oh, this area is not covered by... Uh... Oh, I guess it wouldn't be. Okay. Do we? No. And mostly we just kind of wait for the gold to come and go. Actually, how much gold do I have? I might as well work on some more coins. Because, yeah, what do I need? What do I need for this? 3,800. Ugh. Once I get that, though, everything is really easy. But, uh we got boners. Bad boner. Out of my way. All right, we're good. Okay, what else do we do? I'm really curious what she made. It smells like food over there. This is the flower press, uh, the brew tower with the red on it next to the furnace? It's this thing, yeah. I have the flower press. The problem is, I don't have the, uh, I need cinder bloom to make it worth it. Also, we're not getting any lavender here. Because lavender is up in the ice area. I'm a dun dunce. Okay, yeah, so it's going to be pretty expensive. Before I can really make use of any of these things, I'm just going to move the nightshade over. What did you make? Oh, that's what she made. Hi. We're just going to let some resources fly into my face as I eat miso soup and dumplings. Thank you, Shell. Oh, mushroom and veggie miso soup. Oh, that's good. Okay, so apparently, if you stop away to eat food, you die. Uh, I probably got murdered by one of these slimes, yeah. They hadn't spawned, so I figured I'd be safe to go pee- Damn it. Just got run over by the bull. Alright, screw it. I'm going for the fairy first. Then we're going with the rest of this. That's a really cute intro, by the way. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's two deaths in a row. Alright, oh, and we're back here. And I can't interact with any of those fairies. What about you? There we go. Now back for revenge. Yeah, I gotta get some ballistas. Luckily, we're not stepping away from this here. Oh. I guess I'm not quite done with dinner. Luckily, it's just like a couple more uh, pot stickers. That's about it. Yeah, the enemies in this game are like super non-threatening until you stop paying attention, at which point they become very dangerous. No surprise. Okay. Well, ow. I'll just pop another one of these fairies. I'd like to get some of those more useful obelisks. Specifically, uh, if we could find the mining one somewhere, that'd be amazing. Let's see, can I make any more coins? Actually, can I make the... Nope, can't make the fiery pickaxe, but it can make the bone amulet. So that's the number one thing. 